Ray, has been baseball. America has rolled by like an army of steamrollers. It's been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. But baseball has marked the time. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, back at you. <clears throat> and today, got a game in my 1981 Pirate season. I believe this is the first time that we will be showing off a game from 1981. A couple of changes from 1980. Well, first of all, the team is a lot different. There's a lot different players. Now, as you can see right here, the standings are down here, and we are 19 and 20, so just under 500. And our starter is Don Robinson today. Um, that isn't different. I mean, we had Don, Don Robinson in the 1980 season as well. But you're going to see a lot of pl the players in the lineup are different than the 1980 lineup. But a big difference is I finally figured out how to import different stadiums for different seasons. Well, really, yes, yes. So uh, we are going to be, let me check the schedule. Let's check the schedule, shall we? Team schedule. We're playing the Cubs. I know that. Um, so we are at Chicago. So this will be um, in Wrigley Field because I was able to import Wrigley Field. So you're not gonna see that generic ballpark thing, that crappy little generic ballpark that there always is because we have the ballparks imported for these teams. So we are going to play the Cubs and oh yeah, I forgot, I gotta turn down the sound. So I did that. So let's get on with the game. And you can see we have a couple of guys that are cold. Foley and Dempsey are cold, but I'm still going to play them. Uh, Robinson is pitching for us. He is 2-4 and four on the year with a 353 earned run average and a 118 whip. And he's going up against Mike Kruko for the Cubs. So, and he's uh, actually very good. He's 8-1. and one. 223 earned run average and a 111 whip. So let's get on. Um, but just a quick look at the lineup this year, how it's changed. We've got Willie Wilson in left field, Larry Milborn at second, Lee Lacey in right, which we had last year. Richie Hebner is new this year. He's at third base. Ken Phelps we had last year. Cowens in center, and then Foley and Dempsey is new. So we will get on with the game. And you can see it's from the third base line, the view from Wrigley. Um, that's just the view it gives me, which I am I guess I'm okay with. So we will get on with it. We're batting first. Hopefully we can get enough runs to get our record back to 20 and 20 on the year. But Kruko, I think, is going to be a tough customer. And he is thrown out. The first batter is thrown out. And that brings up Larry Milborn. One down from Milborn, and he's out. That brings up Lee Lacey. And Lee Lacey laces one between short and third for a base hit. One aboard, two down, Richie Hebner up. Uh, can we hit a home run, Hebner? No, but he can get a base hit. And I am going, I'm going to send him. I'm going to send him, and he makes it. So we got runners at the corners. With one down, Ken Phelps up. And Ken Phelps is going to fly out. So you had to figure our luck was going to run out there. Don Robinson on the mound, and he's pitching to Tony Gwynn. Are you kidding me? The Cubs got a hold of Tony Gwynn? Not good. And then uh, Fritzy Connolly. All right, well, if I have to balance off, you know, the fact that they've got Gwynn with the fact that they're playing Fritzy Connolly, I'll take it. And then uh, Carl Pagel. 
this lineup, this Cubs lineup is really not that imposing. I don't know what the deal is, but I mean, because they're doing actually pretty good. All right, I got Al Cowens up the plate. And he is, it looks like, walked. Nice. Uh, Tim Foley. Either he walked or he got hit by a pitch. I'm not sure. But Foley is going to hit into a... No, he didn't hit into a double play, but he did hit into a force at second. Fielder's choice. Rick Dempsey is up. And Rick Dempsey is going to be out. And that's two down. Runner advances to second, but now Don Robinson's up. And he struck out. So we go to the bottom of the second in a scoreless game with uh, Don Robinson pitching and getting the first out quickly. Jim Tracy, the left fielder, knew him as a manager, but not as a player. He's out. And Jesus Alfaro is up. And he's going to lace a base hit. So the Cubs have a runner at first with two down and Steve Macko up. And he struck out. So the Cubs go down and we're in the top of the third of a zero game. Zero, zero. Willie Wilson at the plate, top of the order for us. And Wilson, it looks like, is not going to get aboard. He doesn't. Larry Milborn up. And Larry Milborn hits it right back to where it came from, back to the box. And he's thrown out by Kruko and Lee Lacey, who got a base hit last time. And this time he walks. And Richie Hebner. Richie Hebner walks. And Ken Phelps. Come on, Phelps. Ken Phelps is going to fly out. No, I didn't know anything you guys didn't know. It's a fly out. Don Robinson pitching to Steve Christmas, the catcher for the Cubs. And he is going to be out. So there's one down and Mike Kruko, the pitcher. Hopefully this is an out, but no. Yes, it is. A line out, though. A line out to left. Screeching liner. And Tony Gwynn. A skinny Tony Gwynn, but this he would have been very young at this time. So there, he retires aside. We go to the top of the fourth. And remember, this is out of the park baseball. Players are rated a certain way, and then they play out their careers based on ratings that the game gives them and how they do with those ratings. So it isn't necessarily true that Tony Gwynn would be a, a 360 hitter like he was in real life. Tim Foley is up with a man aboard. I got to let him hit, though, because we're coming down to the pitcher spot. Then he lines out. Come on. <clears throat> Rick Dempsey, one down, one on. And Rick Dempsey laces one through the hole between third and short. And Don Robinson's going to bunt. I don't like bunting. I really hate it. But, uh, you know, I think here you got to do it. And that's a pop-out. So there's two down. And uh, Willie Wilson up, and he's hitless today. And he is going to be no. I'm going to say no. What happened? We loaded the bases. I didn't, I guess I stopped the runner, but it was a base hit. And that brings up Milbourne. And he walks, and we've got our first run of the game. Brings up Lee Lacey. Lee Lacey lines out. So we only get one run. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Fritzy Connolly up against Don Robinson. Fritzy is going to fly out to right. And Robinson, he's still not really breaking a sweat out there. And there's a strikeout. And uh, George Hendrick is up. Now, one thing I will tell you about this Pirates team in 1981, we have a terrible bullpen. We have a bullpen, really, of washed-up starters. 
as you will see if we ever get to the point where we need one, but hopefully we don't need any. Um, Richie Hebner is at the plate, and he gets a base hit right over the second baseman's head. Mike uh, Kruko pitching to Phelps. Come on, Phelps. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. And Mr. Phelps is going to hit a base hit right in the gap. And what happened there? I'm going to say no. I'm not going to send anybody because I don't really know what the situation is. So there's runners at second and third with no outs. And Al Collins up. And Al Collins laces one right through the hole. That'll score two runs. And it's 3 nothing us. 3 nothing good guys. And a man at second. And that brings up Tim Foley. Tim Foley is going to be out, but he did move the runner over to third. So with Cowens at third, Dempsey's up, one down. And uh, that's going to be an out. And now I think, uh, yep, Don Robinson's up. Got to hope that he gets an unlikely hit. Or an error, but he doesn't. But he has a 3 nothing lead now. That should be enough with the way he's pitching, you would think. Still doesn't look like he's getting tired at all. But he does walk a guy. Man aboard for Jesus El Faro. Looks like he'll fly out, and he does, to Lacey. One down, and Steve Macko up. Steve Mack! Go, are you kidding me? Is going to double off the wall through the ivy. And is he out? He looks like he was out. Um, no, I guess we already had that out. Yeah. So it's 3 1 with a runner 90 feet away. And Robinson is starting to pitch poorly. And, uh, yeah, there's another one laced into the gap. That's going to be a double. And now it's 3-2. And now all of a sudden, it's looking like we are going to need relief. Um, but Mike Kruko is up. Hopefully he'll be the second out, and then we'll be in better shape. And he is. And that brings up Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn going to ground out to second. So, uh, the Cubs get two of their own in the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth with Willie Wilson up. Bad inning there for Robinson, but hopefully he can recover from it. And Willie Wilson gets his first hit of the game. I'm going to see if he can steal second. And it looks like he can. And he did. So Willie Wilson's now at second with no outs. And Larry Milborn up. And Larry Milborn's going to lace a hit. Can he? Sc I'm going to send him. I'm sending him, baby. Willie Wilson scores and puts us up 4 2. And the runner moves to second, which is great. Lee Lacey up. And Lee Lacey's going to get a high pop out to right field and going to advance the runner nice man 90 feet away with one out and richie hebner up man richie hebner is going to fly out and uh, no advancement so we need a base hit here from mr phelps and we don't get it but we did get a run so we're ahead by two again Robinson back out there for the bottom of the sixth. I'd like to at least see him get through the sixth. That'll be a fly out. One away. Mike Pagel up. Wasn't he the quarterback for the Colts? Anyway, that's going to be a base hit for Pagel. Man aboard with one out. George Hendrick up at the plate. George Hendrick going to ground into a double play? Yes. Nice. All right, we got Al Cowens at the plate. 
Actually, I would like to see Robinson get through the next inning because I don't think he'll come up this inning. And he won't unless a couple guys get on. Foley is going to fly out. And that brings up Rick Dempsey. And Rick Dempsey is out. So, yeah, Robinson will be the leadoff hitter next inning. So I really want to see him get through this inning. He's not gassed yet. He's at about 50%. One down. Jesus Alfaro up. And that's going to be a base hit for Alfaro. Brings up uh, Steve Macko. Mike Mack. Steve Mack. Oh, my God. Double. But Oh, my God. Come on, Robbins. It's 4-3, runner at second. Steve Christmas up, and there's a steal attempt, and that is a thrown ball thrown away and a tie score. Thank you. All right. Well, now we're definitely going to pinch hit for him, and there's an air by Foley on top of everything. We have one out. Come on, man. Bill Buckner is up. That'll be a fly out. Two down and Tony Gwynn up. Tony Gwynn is going to get a base hit. And the runner was safe. So there's runners at the corners. Fritzy Connolly up. Get him out, man. No! He allows a base hit and now we're losing. <laughs> got to get through this inning. He does barely get through the inning, but we're losing now. I am going to get uh, somebody up in the pen. <clears throat> now, as I was saying earlier, you've got Dave Heverlo, who is actually a reliever, but you got Glenn Abbott, Dave LaRoche, Jim B, Bill Lee. That's my bullpen. All right, I'm going to get Bill Lee up, and we are going to pinch hit for Robinson with Jim Wolford. And there's the 3-1 count on Wolford. And he swings away, and he's going to fly out to right. Willie Wilson up. Top of the eighth, this is. We don't, we're running out of time. Two down. And Larry Milborn up. And that's going to be a pop out. So we're down by a run. Bottom of the eighth. Going to bring Bill Lee into pitch. And that's going to be a fly out. One down. Uh, Jim Tracy up. Jim Tracy should be out. And he is. Two down. And Jesus El Faro. And he gets a base hit. I think that's his second hit. And Steve Macko up. And Dempsey should throw him out. He doesn't because there's an error on the play. That allows runners to go move to second and third with two down and Steve Christmas up. And he's going to be thrown out. So we are down by a run. And we have Lee Lacey up at the plate. And Lee Lacey's going to fly out to right for the first out. 
They have Willie Hernandez pitching. Hebner is up. He walks Hebner. Brings up Phelps. Phelps strikes out. Two down, and Al Collins up. And Al Collins is out, and we lose the game 5-4. Robinson, the wheels came off right near the end. And we will go to 19-21, and 21, to a bad Cubs team. I mean, there was nobody really good on that Cubs team. I mean, a couple people, Tony Gwynn, you know, George Hendrick. But this is not really a fearsome lineup, and yet they beat us 5-4. All right, well, let's see. We leave the game, and you go to the standing, and there we are at 19 and 21, just above only the Mets by three games. But we're behind everybody else, so finish today just to see. And, yeah, it's not, not a good situation for us so far. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing.